and welcome to my first my Mandarin Duckies tutorial. I really love feathers from the day I was born, <laughs> let's say. Uh, we always had a tiny little parrot and I was always collecting his little feathers from the cage and then everywhere I could see the beautiful feathers, I was always buying them and using them everywhere in crafting and things like this. So me and feathers, we have a very special relationship. Let me read you some facts about feathers. Feathers represent many things to different people and you can give your own meaning, no one really knows true anyway. <laughs> they symbolize hope, flight, speed, truth, lightness, enlightenment, the ability to communicate with higher powers, progress and ability to rise above obstacles. And feathers have even been used as a currency in many cultures before, long ago, before we had money and stuff. Right, that's just boring stuff and I look without these glasses so much better anyway. I designed this beautiful necklace for you guys and today I'm going to teach you how to make it. This time I will be using duck feathers coming from the mother duck. I've been inspired by ducks because you know these are my favorite birds and I even made a sketch so you can see now what kind of necklace we'll go for. So we will be using eight feathers, some bronze necklace and maybe some beads. So as I always say, let's not waste our time and let us start. We will need some feathers, black round beads, jump rings, pins, seed beads in purple color and a chain. We'll also need to use some pliers, some scissors and some wire cutters. I'm also using a mannequin and you can use one as well if you want. So we take our first feather and some scissors and try to cut the amount of feather so that the actual core of it stays quite thin because we will try to put it inside the bead later on. So that one is ready and we will need to make seven more, so we have eight in total. So here we get a pin. I will try to arrange this pin along the core of a feather. close to each other so it's easier to put them inside the bead and pull them through. Now we put a little purple seed bead just for decoration so it's a bit more interesting and then we're taking our twisting pliers and we're twisting a little loop like this. So make the same thing with all the eight of them. I made my chain before from two different styles. And here I cut my chain in different length pieces. So there's a first one and we'll try to attach it in the middle. We're attaching it using the jump ring. Now it's time to attach the feathers with the help of a little jump rings. Closing up jump rings may be sometimes a bit hard, but you can use with the pliers, with your own nails if you're not afraid, or you can use some tweezers.
So now we are all done and I think it looks amazing, looks gorgeous and very nice. As you understand that a necklace like this can be a main, you know, main accessory for your outfit or just as additional detail, you know, but mostly I think it's all probably depends on the shape and the color of the feather. Feather earrings can be different as well, shorter or longer, so play with it, play with the sizes and, you know, distances and everything, but remember one thing, if your neck is quite long, you cannot afford anything, you know, any length of earrings. If your neck is quite short, then just think about it, if you wear something too long, it kinda extends the length of your neck, but I also think that too long earrings will just go like you know, spaniel dog's ears on your shoulders, so be careful with it, and if you have quite short neck, choose something in the middle, not shorty tiny ones, but still not too long. According to the color combinations, you can use bright and bold colors kind of like any time. You can go with a plain outfit as I'm doing now, but you know, I'm wearing dark top and then I have colors here, but still even something that bright as this will be fine. And opposite, if you're wearing something bright, like nice white top, you can always go again for bright colors and then you can go for dark. You can combine dark and dark as well, it just depends on your style preferences. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and you learned something new, well you know, how to make necklaces and stuff, how to work with feathers, because I really really want every tutorial to be very useful for you guys. So as always, I see you guys in the next video, bye!